Hello and welcome to another Business Tech Planet video. Today I'll be going over all the differences between the browser version and the desktop version of Microsoft Teams. Let's get started. With well over 100 million people using Microsoft Teams on a daily basis, there are plenty of people asking questions about it. One question we're asked a lot is what's the difference between the browser and the desktop version of Microsoft Teams. Firstly, when making video calls, you will notice that the desktop version gives you the ability to blur out your background, as well as being able to customize your background. Whereas with the web version, this is a feature that you don't have access to. Another feature that you'll notice is also exclusive to the desktop version, is the ability to record one-to-one -one calls. This is particularly useful if you want to review the calls afterwards, or if you just want to archive it for whatever reason. Together Mode is a feature that uses AI segmentation technology to digitally place participants in a shared background. In other words, making it feel like you're sitting in the same room with everyone else in the meeting or class. This can be useful for making everyone in the meeting feeling present, amongst many other benefits. Also only available to the desktop app is the ability to produce a live event. Unlike regular meetings, this is more of a broadcast to the people in the room, very alike to a classroom lecture, where the broadcaster has a lot of information to share with the others in a one-way communication stream. Whilst we're on the topic of live events, the ability to join as a presenter is also restricted to the desktop version, whereas you can only join as a viewer within the browser app. This is useful if you have multiple people that are needed to share information with the viewers in the room. Next up, we have the ability to share your Windows 10 system audio in a live event. This is a feature that is not found in the web version, and is particularly useful if you are screen sharing a video for everyone to watch, amongst other things. Next up, we have the ability to pop out a chat window. On the desktop version, there are several ways to do this. Firstly, you can click this pop out icon on the chat window. You can select these three dots and simply click pop out chat. Or you can just double click the chat window. This provides more flexibility. And finally, we have the limit on the number of video participants you can have in a meeting. On the desktop version, you can have up to 49 with the large gallery settings enabled. For the web version, you can only have one active speaker. Now, let's talk about web browsers. You may be wondering, what is the best browser for Microsoft Teams? Most browsers offer a very similar experience in terms of the core Microsoft Teams experience. However, only two browsers let you use Teams as your main telephone system, Google Chrome and Microsoft Edge. You'll have the best experience using Microsoft Edge, as you will see better performance and slightly more functionality, as Edge is the most optimized for Microsoft Teams. Here's a table that showcases the features supported in different browsers. That's it for today's video. We hope by now you fully understand the differences. Be sure to subscribe if you haven't, and leave a comment down below if you have any questions or thoughts. Thanks for watching.